Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to review a new microscope I was buying via eBay. Well, it took me quite some time to look for a decent but also not so expensive metallurgy microscope. And here it is, it came today and it's from Radical Scientific Equipment located in India. Oh, let's open it up and review this thing because I have not found any other review on the internet or on YouTube or wherever. So let's have a look inside and give it a try. All right, so before we are starting, I would like to explain which microscope I was buying. So this is a 1200 times magnification top light microscope with an XY stage and a polarizing unit. It's a metallurgy microscope and I will explain, explain the technique a bit later. I wanted to make sure this is a specific one which fits my ambitions and my desire to look at dyes, at CPU dyes, with a high magnification and observe the transistors, the microstructure of these uh, CPU circuits. Alright, I took away the plastic bag, so I think it's easier to now look at the contents of the packing. Again, this is the microscope body with a pole stand, the mechanical XY stage. It also includes the four objectives, four times, ten times, forty times and sixty times. Here we have the trinocular head with a C-mount adapter for a digital camera. Then we have the eyepieces 10 times and 20 times. There are some specific blue and green filters which we can use together here with this lamp, which is a typical, typical feature of a metallurgy microscope. And yeah, we have the power pack, the cable, there is a, yeah, a tissue, there's a, a dust cover and a polarizing kit, which um, is this part. So everything's there, I'm super happy. The whole thing costs less than 400 euro plus importing tax, shipment was paid by Radical, so yeah. Uh, so far so good. Let's see if, how it looks when everything is set up. Let's maybe have a quick look at the operating instructions. Here the picture of the microscope in this stage uh, when everything is mounted. Um, the manual is yeah, just copied paper so mm, rather cheap. Uh, it uh, describes the important parts. The parts layout is there. Certain things I have to read before I, I start assembling the microscope. Some instructions how to change certain uh, spare parts like the, the bulb etc and some explanations about magnifications so this is I would say a rather lean manual but yeah better than nothing and as I said this is a very cheap microscope this is half the price or even a third the price that I have seen from more renowned companies in the US, in Europe. But I knew what I would get 
and so far it looks good. So let's see how the microscope works. Well here are all the parts now on the table. Before I will assemble it I wanted to remind everyone why I have bought this microscope. Well I'm really a CPU enthusiast and look at this Pentium Pro. A really nice CPU from the late 90s and this is the open package so you see the die, the cache, the CPU and I really, really like to observe those microcircuits in detail so I want to go very close, high magnification and for that I really need a powerful microscope but I also need one where the light source gives enough intensity so I can look at very very detailed features. For that I need a metallurgy microscope. That's what I was reading about. I saw a lot of other YouTubers who have dived into that and I thought I also need that one. Okay so with that in mind let's assemble a microscope and see what we can get out of it. This is connected to the power source. This looks a little bit old fashioned, I have to say, but probably it works. So I'm just screwing this into here. You can regulate the light intensity with this knob. Switch it off. There's a power access. Let's maybe try it out immediately. Yeah, there's some light visible, so that works. Light test accomplished. Well, you have a couple of filters. Insert them at the side. I would say we are ready to go and see if we can get a picture. All right, so let's install the camera, which is a digital camera from third party. Just insert it here, power it up, and then either record on the chip or look at it directly using a screen. Yeah, so that's the whole setup so far. Cool, okay, so the setup is ready. I have attached also a screen to the camera, the Pentium Pro is installed, we're looking at a certain segment, we're looking at a second level cache and for some reason I have no picture but I think it's because the light source is 
not there. Yes. Wow. Look at this. So using the stage. Oh, the stage is very sensitive, which is nice. I can smoothly move up and down, back and forth. And what I clearly see here is the 805 L2 cache, which is uh, the signature for the second level cache chip on the Pentium Pro from 1995. Super happy, it looks really great. I can now play with the light source, I can do it a bit brighter, I can dim it, I can change to a system where I'm looking through the oculars at the same time and use the camera. So, wow, look at this magnification and I'm only using the four times magnification and the camera. And there is much more to come. There's a 10 times, 40 times, 60 times magnification. So I'm, I have to say I'm, I'm super happy. The chip here shows uh, very nicely. Let's, let's remove this one. Um, and let's maybe have a quick look at this ST EEPROM. I'm installing it here. It has a different distance. It's a bit higher, so I have to probably adjust a couple of things. This chip is M752. And it looks really astonishing. This really looks astonishing. Using a little bit the cursor to screen around. And the stage oh, it looks really nice. Very smooth. I like the stage. The stage is stable. The stage is large. It can really cover large chips. And wow, I'm super happy. I have not yet found out really what the polarizer does. So I have to play a bit around, I would say. But yeah super happy looking at the first results looking at my very first chips using this mythology microscope from radical okay I would say it's a wrap for the device thumbs up